at this stage, what we're going to do now is we have the mixture of solvent exchange chemical and the barren acidified leach in the separatory funnel. And we're now going to use this funnel to separate the barren leach off the bottom of the separatory funnel and then trap the solvent exchange chemical as a pure liquid above it. So I'm going to have Chris go ahead and drain out the acidified leach from the bottom of the separatory funnel. As the leach gets close to the bottom of the separatory funnel, you'll see that the layer of solvent exchange chemical gets thicker and thicker at the top, and the meniscus between the two can be very, very accurately uh, observed, and the valve can be shut off exactly as the last of the acidified leach passes through the bottom of the funnel. So now we have the solvent exchange chemical trapped within the separatory funnel. And now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the barren acidified leach move it out of the way and we're now going to take and put the uh, solvent exchange chemical that has the gold in it into a separate beaker uh, for further processing. Okay, so now we have the solvent exchange chemical in its own beaker and now we can react that uh, with the reducing solution in order to recover the gold back because now the gold is trapped in the solvent exchange chemical.